Hi, well, as promised, here is the, ta -da! the Barbie, the Barbie movie doll. I mean, it's one of the outfits. There's quite a few different dolls out there. But this was my favourite. Couldn't resist her. I'll tell you all about her as we go top down. I did get her at a discount, which was always good. And I ordered direct from Mattel, which I actually thought would have been taken longer, but it was really quick. I didn't realise, obviously, there's a UK department. I was always thinking, well, Mattel, you're ordering from the US. So I've never really bothered. But because I did some discounts, you know, as in, you know, when you sometimes do first order, you get a discount and then I got a discount for following her. So I actually got £10 offer. She is not the cheapest in the range. She is £66. Might have been so many pence. I can't remember, but it's about £66. Um, free postage, though, because it was over £50. So that was good. And I got £10 offer. So... That made me feel a little bit less bad <laughs> but i am super super pleased with her i did a little teaser on a short yesterday so you can see i've got her she came yesterday so i had to do something but i haven't opened it at all so we're gonna get into this and have a look at her let me know if you've got one of them let me know what you think of them i know some people have criticized some and then not others so everybody's got a different opinion everybody likes a different thing so let's have a look whether i like her and see what i've got so i'll see you now top down so here she is. Now, I don't know whether I'm keeping the box or not. I've not decided yet. It is a quite nice box. And because it's the movie one, I don't know, should I, shouldn't I? So I'm going to be careful taking her out the box and I'll decide from there. So we'll have a quick look at the box. You can see it's very Barbie pink. Mattel there on the side. We've got a little bit. Obviously, it says Barbie the movie. Now, I don't know whether, I think this is a shot from the movie. Not 100% sure. And we have the actress herself who plays her. Um, I know when I've looked at this outfit and the images, you know, they've got the trailers for the film and I've looked at those and it looks really accurate. I know there's arguments. Does she look like the actress? Doesn't she look like the actress? But really, the actress is playing Barbie. So should it look like the actress? I think it does a tiny weeny bit, but I do love it anyway. It just says, greetings from Barbie land, wishing you the best day ever. Again, normal little bit, sort of Mattel, empowering the next generation through play, etc, etc. I know they're promoting that quite a lot on Barbie.com. And again, that's very similar to the other side. So as we can see her in the box there, we're getting lots of reflections. So I'm going to get her out of the box as soon as. Now, it looks like there's no tape here. I hate these because I end up and always end up ripping this little bit here. It's always really difficult to get in. So that bit's easy, at least. So oh, I can, oh, I've already ripped the box. I'm terrible with these boxes. But to be honest, um, I know I do sell on or get rid of some of my dolls, but on average, if it's something like this, she will be staying anyway. So it does come out relatively easy. Try not to knock the camera. She seems to be stuck. Why are you stuck? Or oh, what has stuck? Is it her hat? Oh, there we go. She's out, she's out, she's out. So, dare I turn it over? Oh, I knocked the camera. Apologies for that. Dare I turn it over for the little tags? Because sometimes it's best to take them from the back. They don't actually look too bad. It looks like it's these foldy things. So let's take this off. This will be the certificate of authenticity. Um, again, I presume there's like hundreds and thousands of them been made. But there you go. We have a certificate. A couple of little tags there. But these are quite good because these just fold in. You just fold them and push them through. So they're all right. But she does have these on her feet. I'm deciding what to cut or whether to just cut from the other side. We have a little bit of a background there, but again, if you're keeping them in the box, they're great display, but it's not something I'm going to be doing. So I'm actually going to be really careful. I'm just going to cut these. Mind her boots. I'm pushing her feet to one side. I love a cowboy boot. That was one of the reasons I went for her. Let's get her out of that one. We have her stand here, which should just slot out. Making sure I've got myself on the camera. I keep looking up because I've moved the camera angle a little bit. Now, it's always the hair that's a nightmare because there's, that's where they put all those little clips. They're all going to be in there. And I think a hat is going to come off as I do that. Oh, the hat's rubbery. I thought it was going to be a little bit sort of harder than that for some reason. Right, let's have a look. What have we got holding your hair down, missus? Be very careful when you're cutting these because you're going to catch the hair. Uh, and clip and pause in a second just a quick pause there while i answered the door but i'm back and look at that that's all coming out actually it's like sewing cotton that was held in that holding that in so it's not so bad so we're going to put our miss barbie there second 
just want to get everything out of the box and then we can move the box there we go and that's the clip for her stand and her hat of course i say it's quite rubbery that i really thought it might be hard plastic right so it's just just a basic background great if you're keeping them in the box but not something i'm bothered about so on the floor goes that bits of plastic move them over there and let's have a look i mean the stand is quite generic it's just a white stand we all know how the stands go we try not to knock the camera while we're doing it and obviously this is going to clip in around her waist and i put it on the wrong way but never mind so the stand can go to one side because that's not what i'm wanting to look at we don't need the scissors anymore and it's barbie here that we're wanting to have a look at now the hair is very product up question is do you put a brush through it you can see it's a little well not matted but it's just the product i know they have to do it for storing in the box to hold the design but i think what i'm gonna have to do is literally take a curl at a time brush it out brush it around my fingers and then hold it and i think that should make quite a difference i suppose she's had a hat on she's got a bit of hat hair going off there we've all had that so yeah that is going to need a little bit of tlc but never mind they are boxed you can't do much about it i mean looking at her face i don't know who does she look like does she look like margot robbie does she look like barbie i think she's a bit in between to be honest she's still a very beautiful doll and that is one of the main things about her she is a lovely lovely doll she's got these big star earrings now we've not seen the movie over here i don't know whether it's out anywhere else yet i think we've got some middle of next month before it's actually out but the sort of stills and photos i've seen this outfit looks as if it's very accurate same as the others do she has this very cute necktie which is actually quite nice quite nicely detailed all the little patination on it it is stuck to her jacket but it's only i think it's one of those little tie things again so i said i didn't need the scissors but i am going to take it separate because we can't look at her unless i can move it but yeah so it sits on its own anyway it doesn't really need to be tied to the top the detailing again is lovely this is all printed of course it is but these are just little sewn on pockets a little bit of detail on the back with the horseshoe obviously when we see the movie i'll be able to see even more how accurate it is love these trousers and of course we've got cowboy boots let's have a look at these i do like a cowboy boot so they are really really nice let's take the one off let's, oh they come off easy enough obviously she's got this very heeled foot because the boots are heeled oh apologies barbie but they are quite nice let's pop them both together like that so you can have a good look so they are nice we've got stars we've got the stripes literally but they are proper heeled cowboy boots gold and silver stars some of the silver looks like it's i don't know perhaps it's meant to look like it's missing i'm not quite sure but it does look a little bit pale in areas so we'll pop that down let's have a look at this now this i absolutely love again i like accessories I like hats and i like shoes don't have much myself it's weird but my dolls do but it's actually it's quite a soft plastic I think it's okay it's a little bit a bit rough there but otherwise it's fine and this is actually not printed on this is a proper little piece of ribbon that is just tied at the back so again it's nice it's it's sort of textural gives it more reality but i love that hat i think that is amazing and it looks fab on our barbie doesn't it i mean she does look really cool in that so let's put that down as you could see then when i put the hat on we have some nice neck movement there so we're going to get some nice photos after i've done her hair that is so we can move her about great so that is good now the top let's get back to the clothes now it does do little press studs there we go uh, body she doesn't twist at the waist it is just a nice hard body there so that's not a problem so we're fastening your top up missing we don't want you flashing everywhere upper body movement look we have shoulder movement doesn't go too wide that way but it's got quite a bit we have elbow movement so that's quite nice and we also have the hand and wrist moving about there now the hand detail again you can see where her fingernails are but it's just sort of a basic position in there moving down the body so shame a waist doesn't move i think that is something i did try and work out which ones were articulated and which weren't it would have been nice to have a little bit of movement here but it is a play doll what is it i don't know it to me it screams more collectible because of its price and the fact that people do collect movie memorabilia but ultimately children are going to be playing with it so perhaps 
if it makes it a bit more solid i don't know now the legs as far as i am aware let's have a look at these trousers again most of the detail is printed on what we got here oh we've got a little hook and eye this time that's quite a nice sort of look let's see if she's got any of the normal printed on underwear she does so it's printed on there and the legs we just have a knee movement no ankle but i suppose with those boots you're not going to be moving those ankles are you so a little bit restricted um it is like i say i don't know i'm wondering actually whether it's the recycled plastic because it has that sort of feel that the barbie loves ocean one had so I don't know. That'd be really cool if it was. But there's enough movement, I think, for me. I mean, she's going to be on display most of the time. But for me to take some photos, there's enough movement that I can do that. So let's fasten her up. So obviously, you know, we can sort of kick her leg up or she can sort of be waving. Or So there's enough movement there, which I think is quite nice. She's still got a little bit of elastic around the wrist there. So I'm pleased with her. I think she's lovely. I'm not sure whether she's £66, lovely. I know I got a cheap, so that was great. You know, I got £10 off, which makes a humongous difference when you're buying something. Um, me pop her boots back on. But I do love her. I don't know whether I'll buy any of the others. I know there's been some criticism. I like the one in the gingham dress, but I've watched people's videos. And like a lot of people are complaining about the fringe or bangs, whatever you want to call them. Um... That's why I think I went for this sort of hairstyle as well, because I didn't think she looked right. But I get why, because in obviously in the film, that's that. And some people have criticised that the dress felt, I can't describe it. You know, you get the cotton, uh, the cheaper Barbie doll clothes. And it's more like a, it's almost like a synthetic, pla almost plasticky, I suppose. But it is a cotton, but it's just printed. Whereas this, this is a proper cotton fabric. And you can see these are all proper top stitched so i know these are printed on but apart from that it is all nicely stitched and beautifully put together the other doll is a lot lot cheaper so i was umming and ahhing should i or shouldn't i but then i preferred this outfit this is so barbie isn't it um which again that's what the movie's about so it's going to be very very that sort of coloring and everything it's going back to sort of more of a traditional barbie uh she is lovely i do need to sort this hair out because it is very yeah I mean, look, the curls are just completely stuck together. But I am hoping that that will come out. I've just got to really carefully do section by section to get the curls back. I'm going to take some photos of her. So please stay on to have a look at the photos, see what you think. And you'll also see that her hair has been brushed as well at that point. But have you got one? Are you going to get one? Are you going to go and see the movie? We're waiting to see what it comes out as. I think it's like the equivalent to a PG-12 here that they're doing it in America, but I haven't seen a rating for over here in the UK. If you have, let me know, because my granddaughter desperately wants to go. Um, I think the movie will be fine. I know there might be a few innuendos in there, but, you know, that might make the adult audience chuckle a bit. But I think it will be OK for the younger viewers, I'm hoping. So if you have seen the rating, let me know because she's desperate to go. And I said until we found out what it was, I wasn't going to make that decision. So here is my Barbie movie girl. And I think she's gorgeous. I am really pleased with her. So I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to go and get this hair brushed because I'm fiddling with it all the time, aren't I? I really do need to get it brushed. And I'm going to go outside and take some photos while it's still quite fine out there. And I'll see you very soon with another video. If you enjoy my videos, please like, subscribe and share. And I will see you all very soon. Very, very soon. Bye bye for now.